Welcome back to the channel, it's Mark the Usher Vlogster How you all doing? Hope you are all well So, second time out in the Tiger I'm out with Sean again He's on my FZ1 So, I'll tell you what we're up to after the intros Cheers! Welcome back Gonna chuck the tiger about the night See what happens So tonight's test is How it handles Which I'm not expecting any problems with as usual in Scotland, it is a wee tad windy If you've watched my previous video you'll know it's a Tiger 800 I've got Which you can throw about Obviously I've not got all the cameras set up yet We're on the chin Mount, I've got a rear camera I'll switch it on for the braze Don't worry about the black smoked out screen I've got a clear one coming so you can get a better view of the road I never thought of that when I bought it, so I've been scrambling to get a screen But I've got one I've got a sky Leave next Friday So, let's see what she can do One thing I will say, I do apologise if you can't kind of see a lot as my head dips up and down I kind of lose a bit of what's in front of me But as I said, I've got that solved Clear screen coming Horsepower, that's big. I think it's 79 newton meters of torque. So there's plenty there to have some fun. So I'm pretty sure the tyres on it are the Pirelli Scorpion Trails tyre. So if I wanted to do a bit off-road and I could But tonight's all about a kind of road test Well, it's handling them no bother So I've done a quick first impressions, which is my previous video And then I'll do this for the handling tonight I'll check the brakes, all the usual stuff while I'm doing this And then I'll do a full review using some of this footage probably Another 
another wee back road to take us to the Braes and then the Braes is the back road into Largs we're going to have the sun in our eyes to go towards Largs and I've got a clear visor on Everything's all right. You all right, son? That was nasty. Hmm. Camera's on. Aye. bad it was with that sun in your eyes on this road That's us coming into Largs. We're already in Largs. It's a nice wee passing manoeuvre by Sean. Passing up the inside of me. Gets in front, I move into the left. He come, slows down, comes in behind me. So we'll see what the front and back camera make of that. And I wish I'd brought the 360 with me, but I haven't tried to figure out where to place it. But hopefully that's a good wee shot. Might put that in an intro. But this bike is very, very easy to just be looking around about you and look down and you're doing excess of 70, so... So far I'm very impressed with this. I've got absolutely zero complaints so far. Comfort-wise, I'm just... sitting here, comfortable, no issues. You could go hundreds of miles in this and not have an issue with it at all. With your back or your backside. So, this sky trip, as I said, will be the, will be the main test here. We'll be doing pr probably 200 odd miles a day. Which doesn't sound a lot, but it does when you're on that FZ1 or a sports bike so that's where the real test will come in but right now I'm completely happy with the power 800 triple, 94 brake horsepower 79 newton meters of torque brakes are good, front brakes good back brakes as you would expect ABS mirrors are great comfort's great the noise after the triple is nice still get the standard can in it, I'll change that out it's light, it's slickable it's 10 kilo lighter than my FZ1 which I was quite surprised but you can move about in the bike, it's just not an issue at all nothing to fear 
weight wise as I said it's 10 kilos lighter than my said one it's 2 215 Sean must have known that driver You seen the overtake? No problem whatsoever Look at that view, that's stunning Look at that man, that's absolutely stunning Oh well I stood up there standing up. The bars these feel a wee bit low, so it could be a bit higher I think. But standing up in it, no problem. I was standing up at 60 so not an issue. And you just fire it in the corners, right? Well impressed with the handling. Ah, uh, never wave to me now. Cause I'm on an adventure bike. Ah, <laughs> even the girl still wave to me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Where's all the GS riders tonight? Aye, right, so we start a we start a new chapter, or we bring something new to the channel. As the weather gets worse, oh, I'll definitely be it. Oi! There you go, GS. Hello, boys. That's my new pals. <laughs> Jesus. Hope they're all right. How the hell did they go all the way up there? Oh, a big shout out to Paul at Biking Buddies. Don't know if I mentioned them in the first video. I'll not know to watch your back. But if I have, they'll pop this in. Paul, cheers for answering my question so quickly. My finger was hovering over the button, pulling the trigger on it and decided just to check in with you to get your thoughts I know yours is a 1200 but just in general I'm pretty sure you know a few people with them and he get back to me super quick which led me to hit the button on it so thanks to Paul at Biking Buddies as always he's always there to help Welcome back. Just put in at Cowan. Just see how it does in the dark. So we're still out, aye, what is it? Eight quarter to quarter to nine. So I've had a really good night, Sean's behind me, my FZ1 Been a very enjoyable night, taking this bike through its paces Visor steaming up, that shows how quick the temperature's dropping The handling of this bike is just supreme, superb It really is. I'm so pleased I got it. This will change everything. It's 
So that's a good few hours out. Chucked it in the back roads, I've done some motorway, I've done some town riding. The lights are fantastic on it. I've loved every minute tonight. I really have. It's a real eye opener. So the last wee bit is just to let loose in this bit of bypass. And I think that's me covered everything. Well, that's me, I'm going to sign off. What an enjoyable night. Loved every minute. So stay safe. Till the next one. Cheers!